In this brief tutorial, we'll explore how simple it is to use the Color Genius plugin. While we're demonstrating with Resolve as the host application, Color Genius works similarly across most other applications. Color Genius provides an easy, real time solution for automatically enhancing video, particularly faces, skies, and foliage. You can effortlessly recover highlights, refine contours, add depth, and improve skin tones. The tool also eliminates incorrect color tints, compensates for exposure, and includes built-in anti-flicker, something that sets it apart from other machine learning based solutions. All of this is achieved with just a few intuitive slider controls. Let's get started. The steps are easy. We're in Resolve Edit and we can play the original clip that we want to use. We can see that this clip would benefit from some color correction. I can add the clip to my timeline and select it. Now I can easily go to Effects, Open Effects, and see Color Genius. I can add Color Genius to the clip. We'll go through all the options, but quick results come by adjusting the strength and color sliders. Strength is how strong the effect is. 0.0, .0 turns it off, and the higher you go, the stronger the effect is. We can turn the effect off and on to see the before and after. Color allows you to turn down the color component of the effect if it happens to get too saturated or if color artifacts are introduced. 0.0, .0 maintains the original color and 100 is the maximum amount of change. Again, we can compare the before and after by turning off and on the effect. Those are the basic controls. We have two ways to operate the plugin. We have pre-analysis or pre-roll. The analysis will scan the sequence in order and save the machine learning results. From this point, rendering is of the individual frame. In other words, there is no fetching of many frames per rendered frame, so it will be faster. The tweaking of the look with strength and color sliders are applied after the analysis, so this will not require it to be reanalyzed. Other things that will speed up interaction. Turning the GPU to on. In certain cases, such as super large video and render farms without GPU, you would swap that for CPU. You can also check the downscale option when working with large images to speed up analysis. The way you would do this is by first selecting pre-analyze, then select start analysis. Pre-roll is the other option to use instead of pre-analyze. This option is good for shots with very little camera motion or object motion. A pre-roll of none, which is zero frames, is for stills and static scenes. A pre-roll of five is best for small amounts of motion, and 30 frames would be the option to choose to avoid fluctuation over time. The more action in the shot, it's better to use pre-analyze. Also, in some apps, fetching 30 frames per frame is slow. Best to pre-analyze unless you have plenty of time to render. There are some additional controls to fine-tune the look. Check the grade box first to use them. Note, setting strength to zero will bypass the machine learning component and allow you to manually control the look. These controls are not available in the standalone version. You can also keyframe in the plugin version, and that is not an option in the standalone version. 